What is going on everybody, FJC here back with another Delta Force video. And as you can tell by the title, today in this video we're going to be talking about the one feature or thing in Delta Force Hawk Ops that could unfortunately make or break this game. Before we continue on with the video though, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and turn on post notifications. The YouTube sub boxes and algorithm has been kind of wonky lately, so if you guys could do that, that would be greatly appreciated. As well, make sure you are following my TikTok, we just hit 2,000 followers over there, so thank you guys so much much for that. And lastly, make sure you are following my Twitch so you can watch me play Delta Force and other games live. So some of you may have a hint at what we're going to talk about today, but this issue has also plagued other games in general and more specifically Battlefield and other FPS games. But in my opinion, the number one thing that could make or break Delta Force Hawk Ops at this current moment is the amount of AI in the game and AI in the game in general. Now it is understandable that the game currently is in play tests so having AI in the game for server management seems like a good idea but the worrisome part about this is the devs have not addressed AI at all even though people have been constantly asking them about it and whether or not the final release of the game if it'll be in there but if we compare this to its competitor game series Battlefield and with Battlefield 2042 I have never seen so many AIs per lobby it was definitely a little worrisome because the community has been very vocal in Battlefield 2042 about the dislike towards the enemy and friendly AI, and I can wholeheartedly agree. Majority of the reason of why we play multiplayer FPS games is so that we play and compete against other people. And when there's 64 players total in a match for Delta Force Hawk Ops, you can only assume that a good percentage, I'd say right now, about a quarter of the lobby are AI. I've definitely had days on the game or lobbies that I get into where I can clearly tell that 90% of the lobby is AI and my teammates are AI and I'm sure a lot of people will agree with me on this it's not exactly satisfying to kill an entire lobby when you know majority of them are bots but this also leads me to my next point specifically for Delta Force Hawk Ops the AI in this game are all esports pros and don't get me wrong I am exaggerating a bit but there are some AI in this game that look completely clueless you'll shoot at them one time and they'll pretty much stop in their tracks and look around so you'll get the free kill but some of the AI in this game are tuned in a way where they're essentially tracking you through walls so the second you run around the corner you're pretty much beamed instantly and sometimes you can tell the AI apart from the real players just by the setups that they're using on their guns for example Duck Films and I have noticed that if you get killed by a medic AI 90% of the time or 9 times out of 10 you see them running with an mp5 and they'll usually have a red dot sight and a drum mag on it. And continuing on the discussion of the strength of these AI, unfortunately smokes don't affect them at all. So no matter how deep you are or far away you are from a smoke, you'll notice that sometimes you'll get consistently beamed through it and majority of the time that isn't AI doing it. I don't want to sit here and make it sound like I hate Delta Force Hawk Ops because I really don't. The game is fantastic. It's exactly what 2042 should have been. Majority of people, including myself, have been calling it 2042v2, and I think at the current moment, considering there's two maps in the game and it's a playtest, it's a better game than Battlefield 2042's full release. But if we're looking at Delta Force Hawk Ops from a very critical standpoint, AI will only do more harm than good for the game, and I know majority of the community will agree with me on that. In my opinion, Delta Force Hawk Ops has done a fantastic job of building such a solid foundation as a playtest game, but now that I've played the game for a little over two weeks, I do have to say the constructive criticism standpoints that I do have are very minor in the grand scheme of things, and I think they will hash those out. If you guys want to see a dedicated video about that, let me know in the comment section down below as well as leave a like on the video because I do plan to make a video where I talk about everything that Delta Force Hawk Ops needs to improve on, but I'm telling you it's really not that much. Once again, this video is 100% my opinion, so whether or not you agree or disagree, I want to see it in the comment section down below and let me know your thoughts and opinions in general about AI in video games. I personally think they have no place to be in video games especially in multiplayer online lobbies I think it ruins the whole purpose of playing online video games like I said earlier on in the video if they are only doing this for playtest reasons just to balance out the servers I completely understand but they also haven't addressed the AI in the game at all so it does make the community wonder and hope that 
they will not be in the final version of the game. I truly think if this game was to release and AI are still in the game, even if it's not the quantity or the skill level that they are at right now, over time, it'll only make people want to leave the game because it gets rid of that true online multiplayer experience that we're all looking for. And in my opinion, Delta Force Hawk Ops is the closest game to Battlefield 4 that we've gotten in years. And the feeling of nostalgia that I get when playing this is insane. And it makes me feel like I'm back in the day playing Battlefield 4 again. So Team Jade and Timmy Studios, please don't fuck this up for the love of God. That's going to be everything from me for today. Once again, if you agree or disagree with anything that I said in this video, let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure to check out my Twitch channel as when this video premieres, I will be live probably playing Delta Force Hawk Ops. So make sure to check that out. And I will see all you wonderful people in the next video. Have a great rest of your day, night, or evening. Peace out. Much love.